In this video, we'll talk about a very exciting development in India's space exploration, the SpadeX mission. This mission by ISRO marks a major milestone in space technology. What is the SpadeX mission and why is it so important? Let us discuss. The full form of SpadeX is Space Docking Experiment. From the name itself, you can understand that in this mission, India is working to achieve space docking. What is space docking? Let us understand it with a simple example. We have all played or seen a jigsaw puzzle at some point. In this game, we join different pieces together to complete the puzzle. We ensure the pieces fit perfectly and lock together seamlessly. This is how we connect the pieces. Now in space docking, imagine the same process happening in space. Instead of puzzle pieces, space vehicles are connected together. This is a very complex process because it takes place in a microgravity environment, hundreds of kilometers above Earth. Space vehicles moving at incredibly high speeds are slowed down with the help of advanced sensors and thrusters and are then connected with extreme precision. Space launches are very expensive, so there is no room for error. Everything must be absolutely perfect. In ISRO's SpadeX mission, space vehicles will be joined together after being perfectly aligned. This is India's first attempt to achieve space docking. If successful, India will join a select group of countries that have mastered this technology. At present, only three countries, the US, Russia and China, have achieved this complex feat. Soon, India is expected to join this elite club. ISRO has launched two satellites from the Satish Dhawan Space Center located in Sriharikota. Both satellites have been placed in low Earth orbit with the help of a PSLV rocket. One of these is the chaser and the other is the target. From the name itself, we can infer that the target will be either stationary or passive, moving very gently. It will have docking ports to accept the chaser. The chaser will actively approach the target, using automated systems and thrusters to align precisely and finally connect with the target. The challenge lies in reducing the distance between the chaser and the target in a carefully planned manner to avoid collision and ensure a gentle connection. Because even a slight mistake could cause them to collide and be destroyed. As of now, ISRO has successfully placed the chaser and target satellites in orbit and it is estimated that the final docking will take place on January 7. If space docking succeeds, it will be a groundbreaking achievement for India in space technology. But why is that? While it is true that this technology is very complex, the question arises, why is space docking so important? What is its significance? Why is the SpadeX mission being called a stepping stone for India's future missions? Let me break it down. First, let us understand why this technology is required. Look, if we need to send huge and heavy equipment into space, we cannot launch it all in one go. There is a limit to the maximum payload that our current rockets can carry. If the equipment is heavier than this limit, it cannot be launched in a single attempt. Secondly, the heavier the payload, the more thrust is required to escape Earth's gravitational pull, which in turn demands more energy. This means a greater amount of fuel is needed. Additionally, structural constraints come into play. The larger the equipment, the more drag it creates which can make the rocket unstable. Therefore, it is more efficient to launch the components in parts and assemble them in space. Launching them in parts makes the process safer, more controllable and cost effective. This is why space docking is so important. To give you an example, space docking was used to build the International Space Station. Each piece was launched separately and then these modules were assembled with the help of space docking. Be it laboratories, living spaces for astronauts, or even solar panels. All of these were launched individually. Once all this was done, the structure we call the International Space Station was completed. And look at it today. With the help of the International Space Station, we are able to conduct various types of experiments in a microgravity environment, observe Earth and space, and study how humans can work while staying in space for extended periods. This research supports missions to the Moon and Mars. All of this has become possible because of space docking technology. That is why India is also planning to build its own space station by 2035, named the Bharti Antriksh Station. It will consist of five modules, which will be launched one by one, starting in 2028, and then assembled in space. To achieve this, mastering space docking technology is essential, making the SpadeX mission very important for us. Have you noticed how much planning our scientists put into advancing our capabilities? It is crucial that we all learn about and appreciate such extraordinary work. If we want to build an informed society, 
we need to bring such achievements into the spotlight. So we were talking about the SpadeX mission. With its help, India will master space docking technology, which will enable us to build our own space station. China already built its own Tiangong space station two years ago. And Russia is also working towards building its own space station. Every country would like to have its own independent space station to become self-reliant and reduce dependency on other countries. Due to geopolitical tensions, many countries prefer strategic autonomy and do not want to rely on international collaboration. If we have our own space station, we'll be able to prioritize our specific research. We'll not face any restrictions from international partners and any scientific data and breakthroughs we achieve will be completely ours, which will increase our influence on the global stage. This is also very important from the perspective of national security objectives. Critical missions related to Earth monitoring and defense can be carried out, which could prove to be strategically advantageous. So there are many benefits to having an independent space station. For this, it is necessary to master space docking technology, because the entire space station will not be launched at once. It will be launched in parts, and the components will be assembled. Docking technology is also very important for India's Chandrayaan-4 mission and upcoming human spaceflight missions. With docking technology, we can repair satellites, refuel them, and even upgrade them, which can extend their life. Suppose a mechanical failure occurs, a component is damaged, or a software malfunctions. In such a scenario, instead of launching a new satellite, we can send a servicing spacecraft to dock with the damaged satellite to fix the issue and repair it. This will result in massive cost savings, as a new satellite will not need to be launched. The life of the existing mission will be extended. Then suppose all the systems of a satellite are working fine, but its fuel has run out. And without fuel, the satellite cannot maintain its orbit in space, so its utility will end. However, if we send a refueling spacecraft, dock it with the satellite, and transfer fuel into it, we can continue the mission for a longer time. So without replacing the satellite, the mission's lifespan will increase and we will continue to receive important data for a longer period. Over time, as technology advances, we can upgrade the satellite by replacing critical components like sensors, processors, or communication systems. But for all of this, it is crucial to master docking technology. This is the significance of space docking and ISRO's SpadeX mission. By mastering this cutting-edge space technology, we can propel our space program forward. India can emerge as a major player in global space exploration. The SpadeX mission is a stepping stone to achieving all of this. It is a result of the hard work and talent of our country's scientists. Mastering space docking will make many advanced missions in the future possible. This mission by ISRO is very inspiring, and every Indian should know about it and discuss it. Thank you.